one of my favorite stories is I was finishing up with a case and she was diagnosed with a brain tumor. And it wouldn't have been respectful of me to say, you shouldn't be afraid. It was benign brain tumor, but indeed a neurosurgeon had to cut open her brain, and there could be lots of complications with that. And so what I did with her is for several weeks I had her do self-hypnosis with split screen. I had her imagine on one side of the screen um, all the things that could go wrong. Infections, problems with anesthesia, losing her ability to speak, losing um, uh, some of the facial expressions, smell, all these kind of um, sequelae that can happen when you're, when you're doing brain neurosurgery. And then on the other side of the screen, I had her imagine that her neurosurgeon came in the day after the surgery and just shook his head and said, in my 25 years of doing neurosurgery, I've never had a patient recover so quickly. This is marvelous. And she would go back and forth and back and forth, and with the more um, frightening scene, she would dull it a little bit, have it more in black and white, a little blurrier, with the scene where he was just applauding her recovery with a big smile. That was bold. Now, I was on vacation, but I gave her my phone number, and she called me the next day. And she said, you'll never believe what just happened. My surgeon just came in and said in his entire practice, he'd never had anybody recover from neurosurgery so quickly. I'm going to release you. So I'm not sure what the energy flow was, but that was one of my favorite stories. <laughs>